If you follow me on Twitter, you notice that every day I post one to two Excel shortcuts. And what I wanted to do is to actually make a video with some of these shortcuts to give you a little bit of a visual on some of the things that I tweet about. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you, um, most people are accustomed to change tabs by clicking um, the individual tab that they're looking for. Um, a quicker and easier way, especially if your worksheet has a lot of individual tabs within it, is to actually right click on the arrows then it's going to bring up the list of all the different tabs that were within that particular worksheet. If you have more than what shows on this um, pop-up box, there's a more sheets at the bottom. And then it brings up this box here um, asking which sheet it is that you'd like to activate. So in this case, I'm going to click on the very last one. Ah, no, we're going to go about midway. And then just click on OK and it automatically takes you to that sheet. Now another way that you can switch between individual sheets um, going either one to the left or one to the right is to do control page up or control page down. So if you go control page up, what's going to happen is it's going to move you one worksheet to the left. If you do control page down, it's going to take you one worksheet to the right. So that's a little easier way to maneuver around a worksheet that has a lot of different individual tabs. Now let's say I'm going to go back here to my very first sheet. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of data on this sheet and you can't even see all of it. This particular sheet, um, there's about 230 names and what happens is every month these individual apartment units need to be billed out for their water and sewer usage for the particular month. And every single person's bill is a little bit different because it's based on actual usage in the apartment. So, for example here, um, bill start, I want to change everything in column H and column I from July 1st of 09 to July, or I'm sorry, to August 1st. Um, and as you know, a lot of times if you try to change something and you try to scroll down, um, we're gonna do it the traditional copy and paste method. Um, a lot of times as you start going, Next thing you know, like, whoa, like you've run away like a little bit too far. Um, another way that you can actually um, select a large area is to either, with your cursor in the first cell, um, with the box highlighted around it, you could scroll down, um, you could um, get to the very end of the range that you want to actually grab, hold shift, and then you've highlighted the entire area as you um, hold shift and click. Um, I still am not a big fan of this particular method. Um, probably one of my favorite ways is to um, be in the very first cell, hold down shift. In this case, I'm gonna move over one to the right because I wanna grab column I as well. And I'm still holding shift down at this point. I'm gonna page down. Um, and as you can tell, that goes a lot faster. Um, do you have to maneuver a little bit there with the individual arrow key then at the very end? Um, and as I mentioned before, I want to change all of these dates from July 1st to August 1st. So I'm going to 08, 01, 09. And before hitting enter, I'm going to hold down the control key. So I'm going to do control enter. And now I've just changed every cell that I just highlighted previously in that range. That honestly is like one of my favorite things is doing the control enter um, with the data because then it automatically puts it into everything that you've just highlighted. So we've changed the dates and I want to compare, you know, kind of look at the names on one side and then look at this data, um, the dates and charges on the other side. The easiest way to do this, and this is in 2007, um, it's a little bit different in 2003, click on the view and then click new window and I want to tell it arrange all. Um, I want to have them vertical because I want to have them left to right. So now you can see I have the exact same document on both the left hand side of my screen and the right hand side of my screen. So for example here I could look at Joe Smith's name and I could um, go over here and let's say I wanted to see what Joe Smith's charges were. I know he's on line 18. All right there we got line 18 line 18 here um, and I could go and I could look to see what his total charge is without actually 
um, having to scroll all the way over. So it's an easy way to compare data um, with two sheets. Um, all changes are updated in both of them at the same time. So you can um, move it around a little bit if you want. You want to see them top to bottom, you can click horizontal. Um, and now you've got them top to bottom instead of left to right. There you go. You've got um, your data together. Um, trying to scroll down here on this bottom one to show you, but it's not working for me right now. Um, so you've seen that. I want to go back to um, just regular view. So I want to, whoa, not do that. Um, all right, so now I'm back in just one screen. And one um, last thing, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a um, two little shortcuts that I absolutely love a lot. Um, let's say I want the cell B19 to be identical to B18. Um, so what I can do is just hit Control D. Nope, I just hit Control F. Um, Control D, and it automatically will copy from the cell directly above. Now if I wanted, for example, here in column C to copy data from B into C, do control R, and control R will take the data from the cell directly to the left of it. Um, a future video, I am going to show you um, some of the fun things that you can do with conditional formatting, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a teaser for my future video. This particular sheet, at the end of the month, I have to verify all units that are indicated as vacant, so I want to be able to quickly and visually see any units that are vacant so I can check it against um, Yardi property management software. So I've set up this sheet. It has conditional formatting already set up, so at a later video I'll show you actually how to set up the macro in order to actually do this automatically. Um, so in this case, if I changed the cell to vacant, you can see it automatically turns purple. So I look forward to you joining me on my future video in which I show you how to record the macro in order to use the conditional formatting and some of the fun various uses associated with that. Have a great day. And if you aren't already, follow me on Twitter. I am at M-M-A-N-G-E-N, -E at M-Mangin.